half game behind the brace with first in the NL East. That's Chad Cordero trying to save it for the Nationals to the ninth. Two outs. Mets down 2-1. This guy has been doing it well off the bench for the Mets. Damien Easley to Felipe Lopez. Close play at first. And Easley is called safe. Take another look. He keeps the game going. Should have been called out. Mets have runners on first and second. Next batter, Julio Franco. All he does is single. Pinch runner, Andy Chavez, trying to score from second. Austin Kearns comes up throwing. Close play. Chavez just beats the tag. Take another look. By the way, Franco, sixth time in his career, he's tied a game or given his team the lead with his team trailing and down to its last out. Mets tie the game at two to the 12th. Bags full, one out, still tied Carlos Beltran. That'll work. Two runs would score. Beltran and David Wright, each with two run hits in the 12th, made the difference in the Mets' victory. Dodgers and Padres in just two hours and four minutes. Just the way I like it. 3-2 Padres up, runners on the corners. And that is Sal fielding the Bowen bunt on the safety squeeze. Going to Wilson Valdez to Russell Martin. And Martin runs Mike Cameron back. Will tag Cameron out. And then he chases Kevin Kuzmanov back to second. Tags him out. Crazy double play. You'd score that 1-5-2. Padres blow a big opportunity to pad their lead. So let's go to the ninth. Same score, Trevor Hoffman coming in after blowing his second straight save Friday night. And he blew it to this guy. Yeah, Martin. Well, Martin hits it deep, but it stays in the park. Hoffman with his fifth save of the year. Career save number 487. The Padres win. Dodgers 1-5 in their last six games. Those other Rangers, those in Texas, taking on Toronto. Kevin Millwood starting for Texas. Rangers up 4-1. to one. Millwood facing Frank Thomas. Laced it. Gone. Number 491 of Frank Thomas's career. Fourth this year. Bull Jays pull within two. Let's move to the ninth, shall we? Same score. Jason Fraser on the mound for the save. Would it turn out that way? Well, he walks Mark Teixeira. That sets up a double play, but after getting two outs, he walks Ian Kinsler. Bags full. Frazier hits Frank Catalanada with a pitch. Walks in a run. Rangers now down only one. And then tie games in the tenth. We go. Hank Blaylock does what he has to do. The sack fly. Michael Young scores the game winner. The Rangers win. On the field in the Bronx, Torres Yanks looking to avoid their eighth straight defeat. And just his luck. Julio Lugo. Right back to Jeff Carstens off his leg and Carstens is down in pain. It's a broken fibula. That's a broken leg. He won't need surgery. We'll be back later in the season. Kei Agawa, who was just relegated to the bullpen, came up large, getting Ortiz to ground into the double play with two on and nobody out. Six innings and one standing ovation for Agawa. Meanwhile, Jorge Posada off of Tim Wakefield. Third home run of the year for Posada. And the Yankees' first extra base hit in 24 innings. Top nine, look who's in. Mariano Rivera to close the door up 3-1. Remember, zero saves this year. Two blown in ERA over 12. Lugo, Alex Rodriguez. Incredible play. The bare hand. Torrey loves its top play nominee. Kevin Euclid pops up to Robinson Cano. And Rivera does what we're used to seeing. Gets a save. Derek Jeter, three hits for a second straight game. That losing streak ends at seven. Which trend would hold up Saturday as Bonds and his Giants faced Gonzalez and his Diamondbacks? Well, here's, here's a hint. There it goes, 742, creeping up on the hammer, his eighth of this season. Bonds homer gives the Giants a quick 2-0 lead. I know it, you knew it. Look at it again, you see Barry Lamar Bonds knew it as well. Deep into the stands. And just like that, 2-0 in the seventh. D-backs down 4-2. It's Scott Hairston pinch hitting. Doing his best, Bonds. Off Vinny Chulk for a three-run poke. His first of the year. D-backs up 5-4. Jose Valverde with a man on second against Ray Durham. Durham hits it hard, but Chris Young tracks it down to preserve the Snakes' 5-4 win despite the damage from Bonds. Have won their last six, going for seven, eating a win over Baltimore. Eric Wedge would experience something for the first time. Yes, here it is. Orioles lead two to one. Runners on the corners, one out. Ramon Hernandez. Now watch this. Grady Sizemore makes a great catch. Nick Markakis is going to cross home plate, but then Sizemore is able to double up Miguel Tejada running from first. You need another look. We all need another look. Mark Cakes clearly crosses home plate before Ryan Garko stepped on first, yet the Orioles are not credited with a run. It is ruled a double play and no run by the home plate up Marvin Hudson, but by rule, the run should have counted. Now, three innings later, 
Get this, three innings later, we're on to the six. In the sixth inning, the umpires decide to, all right, let's allow the run from that third inning to score. Talk about a brain lock. Now, Indians bench coach Jeff Datz has the rule book in his hand. Ed Montague would get on the phone, but later Ed Montague said, quote, I screwed up. Eric Wedge would officially protest the game. The run would be put back up on the board. So Baltimore up 3-2 now. Johnny Peralta gone off of Eric Bedard. Cleveland now takes the lead 4-3 on Peralta's fourth homer of the year. To the eighth. Same score. Two on for Corey Patterson. Patterson looking for space. Drills it. And Tejada and Jay Payton will both come in. Baltimore would go on to win this game, said Eric Wedge. They're going to be a tremendous follow-up with this. Crazy. In the NL, the Pirates are hot. Five straight wins, looking for a sweet six-pack with a win over Cincy. That's Matt Belial. What a story he was. Ask Jack Wilson about his control. Belial's control was, he was perfect through five. Three-nothing, Reds up and Hamilton. Josh Hamilton. Ryan Friel would score on that double. Reds up 4-0. Not bad for the NL's worst hitting team. Bottom nine. Reds in control. Belial going for the complete game. That's right. This is a guy who hadn't lasted longer than six innings in 100 major league starts. It was just his 12th career start and he gets a five hit complete game victory. Top plays. Why don't I start it? You start. All right. Now we, you know, Hockey. All right, Sharks, Red Wings, Detroit had to win this thing. And Dominic Hasek, you're better in front of the net, for goodness sake. Joe Thornton scored the goal, but the uh, Sharks still lost 3-2. to two. On to the Shark Tank. Aren't all tenders better in front of the net? Well, not well. Number nine, Brewers-Astros is a rhetorical question. Really, J.J. Hardy with the winder to short. Adam Everett, the great catch. Astros and their seven-game losing streak. Number eight, the Corona Championship. Round three, that is Lorena Ochoa. She started the day four under, tied for 20th. But on this day, she shot a 964, tying her for the third round lead. She's 25 years of age. She had eight birds, an eagle, and a bogey. Sorry, I didn't want to bring you down with a bogey. That's okay. Number seven, actually number 742, if you're counting. And, nice. Well, we are, diligently. Barry Bonds off Edgar Gonzalez, first inning, two-run shot. Barry now within 13 of tying Hank Aaron's all-time mark. And number six, Braves and Rockies, Andrew Jones. Jones on defense. This is so pretty. Robin Garrett, Atkins of the homer. Take another look. The Braves win, and they stay a half game up on the Mets in the NL East. But who's counting? We are. That's right. Dodgers, Padres. It's kind of what we do. Marcus Giles, the winder, back to Brett Tomko. It's kind of a self-defense thing. And number four, Mets Nationals. Jose Reyes, Robert Fick. The diving catch. Take another look. You know, I can't get enough of this game because it goes into 12 innings, so we'll show you something else a bit later, like in moments even. All right. Senators, Devils. 2.7 seconds left in the first period. Sergey Breland scores off the faceoff. Every tenth of a second counts in hockey. That's right. Watch it again. You have to. Devils, 3-2 and OT. Number two, Angels White Sox, Darren Erstadt, Jared Weaver. He fielded it with his glove. He sure did, and he makes the shovel pass for the out. That was very heads up. Angels win three to nothing. You know, that was pretty good, but it's number two, which means pretty much by definition, I can top it. Ryan Zimmerman against the Mets. Diving stop, throw to first for the out. Ryan Zimmerman, backhand stop. Long throw to first for the out. Ryan Zimmerman. No. Diving stop to the wide, to first for the out. Nationals lose. Red Sox trying to take two out of three from the Yanks after sweeping them last weekend. David Ortiz. Big sideburns were in the first inning. Ortiz, your batter. David Palm Cron. Seventh of the season. I believe we should look at it again. That's how easy it was. Red Sox up 1 0. Now we're in the bottom of the third. Doug Mankiewicz against Julian Tavares. I got my credit score and a free computer. And Kavich, deep to right, second of the season. Yanks take a 3-2 lead. Now top of five, 3-2 game. Chin Ming Wong. He's not Alex Cora. And that's going to go over some fencing that have been set up. Red Sox go 4-3. Wong goes six, gives up six hits, four and runs. Now in the eighth, Manny Ramirez against Sean Hent. Ramirez way back and out. Red Sox go up by a count of 7-3. To the eighth, Yanks down 7-4, Alex Rodriguez. Big month, but not a big at bat. Five, four, and three. The numbers from the fronton were two and eight. The Yankees lose this one and lose then.
Five out of six the past two weekends to the Red Sox. Red Sox getting two out of three here. The bullpen solid again, playing just one run over nine innings of work in the series. New York's three, four hitters, Abreu and A-Rod, when it combined three of 23. The Yankees had 21 hits. A third of those came from Derek Jeter. As for reports, the George Steinbrenner's patience is wearing thin with Joe Torre. Two of the manager's key guys spoke up. There's no way he's responsible for us performing. He's not hitting for us. He's not pitching for us. He, uh, you know, he puts the best players out there on the field, gives us an opportunity to win. You know, we're just not doing the job. So, no, that, that's unfair, and it should stop. Joe has nothing to do with our issues. Uh, you know, us as players, we've got to get the job done, and uh, Joe's doing the best he can. And uh, we've had some injuries and all, but, you know, we, um, we're going to be okay, and Joe's a great leader. Great ending to Twins, Tigers, and great beginning. First round draft pick, Calvin Johnson. Okay. Dude is 6'5", 235, runs a 4'3", 840, but he can't throw a baseball that good. Maglio Ordonia is facing Johan Santana with a runner on third. Maglio hits 394 for his career against Johan, and he plays him here. His fourth homer of the year. Tigers up two zip. Top six, Twins down one with two outs. Torrey Hunter. Oh, my! Hunter's fifth jack of the year. We're tied at three. Top seven, two outs runner at the corners for Joe Maurer, facing Joe Zemaya in his 100-plus mile-per-hour heat. And Zemaya, he induces, Kenny. That's another induce. Compelled him. He compelled him to ground out to end the threat. Bottom nine, Brandon Ange at the plate. Came into the game, hit 122 on a 3-1 pitch. Booyah! Walk off, game one, and everybody take yourself home. In just fourth homer of the year, he had three hits after coming into the game, hitting 122. Tigger's going to win it 4-3 and avoid the sweep. <laughs> You've got the time Dodgers, Padres for a long time. Bottom seven, Dodgers up 4-3. Derek Lowe facing Marcus Giles with one on. Giles, base knock to right field. Jeff Bloom beats the throw to score from second. Padres tied at four. We go to extra innings. A lot of extra innings in the 13th. Base is on it for Juan Pierre. He flies out to center. Mike Cameron settles under it for the third out. That's building the drama on a, you know, Pretty ordinary play. Dodgers can't capitalize. In the 17th inning, Rafael Percal is just passing time. Now, when Kenny and I are sitting here waiting for a game day to do Sports Center, we talk, we throw darts, we make paper airplanes. Rafael Percal just wraps tape. He's superhero guy. He's superhero guy. He's he was the other man. highlight. Top 17, Brady Clark, one on doubles to left. Wilson Valdez comes around to score. Dodgers finally break through and go up 5-4. In the bottom of the 17th. Chad Billingsley facing Kevin Kuzminov. Two on, one two count. Billingsley off speed, flavor that just misses. The Dodgers can't believe it. We wanted the highlight to be over. Not really. We're having fun. Next pitch, Billingsley rocks him to sleep to end the game. Game time, almost five hours. Dodgers win it 5 4. This one was more efficient. Giants, Diamondbacks. Unit on the hill for the Diamondbacks. Barry Bonds did not start in this one. We're in the sixth. Ray Durham against Johnson. Durham, not sure what the pitch was, but it tastes like chicken. His second home of the season ties the game at three apiece. To the ninth already. And Barry Bonds better come on to pinch hit. Facing Brandon Lyon and didn't get anything to hit. Bonds will be lifted for the pinch runner, Dave Roberts. And now Randy Wynn facing Lyon. The blooper could drop. It does. Dave Roberts holds the third. What a tie of the game. Now loaded for Rich Aurelia. Loops to short. Steven Drew is going to catch that and end it. Diamondbacks win it by a count of five to four. Extra inning home run, not the biggest thing in the game. Top seven, tied at five. Nobody out, two on. Chipper Jones to Troy Tulowitzki. Makes the catch, steps on second. Tags Edgar Renteria, the unassisted triple play. We're talking much game. Check it out again. Tulowitzki does it himself. The catch, the step. The tag, it's like a dance that you do at the club. Only the 12th unassisted triple play in Major League regular season history. Bottom nine, Rockies down 7-6, bases loaded. Look, after that, everything else is just like, you know, Brad Hopp, RBI ground out. The second off, Bob Wickman scores to Lewitsky. We're tied at seven. Wickman, second blown save. Bottom 11, tied at seven, Matt Holliday. Yeah, as I said, walk-off home run in extra innings. Great, right? We see that a lot. The unassisted triple play was off the charts. Rockies win at 9-7 in 11 innings. Angels and White Sox, Mark Burley looking for his 100th career win. Top four, Angels down two zip. Bases empty for Mycer is tourist. Mycer, my sir, he cracked it. His first of the season that cuts the lead to one. Next batter, 
Vladimir Guerrero, he of no batting glove, as cool as the other side of the pillow. His seventh home run this year, the second time this year, the Halos have gone back-to-back -back homers. They tied the game at two. Now top nine, Andrews up 3-2, two, two on, two out for Eric Ibar. Broken bat single to shallow right, Brandon Wood, Gary Matthews score, said White Sox skipper Ozzie again. we're wasting good pitching. We're not wasting time, we got the ultimate highlight. These are very good plays. Ten of them, Reds, Pirates, Jose, Batista. This should be a good cap, yeah? Huh? That's what you gotta do to make this thing. That's just the tenth. There's gonna be better things than that. Pirates lose the game, though. Number nine, NHRA funny car. Ashley Force won the first father-daughter race in NHRA history, edging 14-time series champion John Force in the first round of the funny car elimination. You see mom and wife, same person, <laughs> checking it out. Oh, who that is? That's just my baby daddy. Orioles, Indians, I'm specializing in great catches. Brady Sizemore, diving catch. Let's look again. Let's look a third time. Let's not. Indians win it six to one. Raptors and Nets. Jason Kidd on the alley. Vince Carter freaks the oop. Backward style, and he can jump. He has hops. Jason Kidd had 13 assists, dimes, helpers, pleasers. Rising. Hong Kong. Oh. Way they go. You know, Breeders' Cup coming your way on ESPN at Monmouth. Here's your first horse in. Able won, wins, and is in. One of the qualifying races for an automatic bid to the Breeders' Cup. Number five, Mavs Warriors, Baron Davis, Davis B. Diddy, the half-court shot at the buzzer to end the first half. You should be able to get, like, five points for that shot, but it, it's only three. It's a long three-point. ACC men's lacrosse, Duke and Virginia. Blue Devils taking down Virginia 12-9 to win the 2007 ACC men's lacrosse championship. Last spring, Duke came very close to having the entire program disbanded, of course. Sabres Rangers, Brendan Shanahan. The shot, the puck gets past Ryan Miller. Temple Newman and keeps the puck out. Another look. Sabres lose 2-1 in two overtimes, but Brendan does great Flintstones impersonations. We learned that watching ESPN2 back in 1993. <laughs> Braves Rocks, bottom of 11 for Matt Holliday. Deep drive, center field. Jones going back, looking up, ball game. Home run into the center field part near the waterfall. Two-run homer for Matt Holliday. This one is a Rockies winner at Coors Field. So walk-off home run at number two, but it's not number one? No. Same game, Troy Tulowitzki, only the 12th nice. unassisted triple play in baseball history in the regular se season. Troy Tulowitzki, the catch, the step, the tag. Rockies win 9-7. It's kind of easy. 